Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the print function and how to get the most out of it. So we are in Visual Studio Code. We set this up in the previous video if you need to know how to get to this point here. And when you're here, you can hit this play button here and we will get the output in the console. And a nice thing here is that if you want to clear this, you can just type clear and there you go. And maybe if you're on Windows, it might be CLS. Honestly, I don't have a Windows machine available to me right now, so I apologize if it's a little bit different, but it's it's not that important. I mean, it's just to clear the screen, it'll be all right. So output's gonna be down here in the terminal, and our code is gonna be here in our file. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there! Now here's a cool tip for you guys, and people ask me this all of the time on my channel. If you go up to the top and under help, there's this search here, and you can search anything such as theme. And check this out, there is this color theme here. So you can go to Code, Preferences, color theme. So let's try that. Code, preferences, color theme. And look, here are all of our different options for the different themes. So for example, we can go to this solarized light and wow, look at that. Man, it's a little blinding. If it's dark out, maybe hurt your eyes a little bit. So let's try a different one. Let's go to color theme and maybe try this quiet light. So you can go in here and figure out what color theme you like. There's also the shortcut keys here. So in, in my situation, it's Command K, Command T. So I'll try that out. Command K, Command T. And then, you know, I can go with Monokai Dimmed, for example. So we can set a theme like that. So I'm just going to look around and find a theme that I like. I like this solarized dark one. I think it's pretty. Maybe this tomorrow night blue, uh, nah. Mm, so many options. So I think I finally settled on solarized light. And I apologize if you don't like light themes. However, I think that's gonna give the best user experience for this series, so. Be sure to fight about it in the comments, which is superior, light or dark. And I, I will look forward to enjoying your guys' arguments. So make them nice and juicy. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough theming around. Let's uh, look at this print function. So again, anytime we pass in data, this is known as an argument, and we're passing in what's known as a string, anything surrounded by double quotes. Now we can pass any kind of data in here. So for example, we can pass in a number and run this, and we get the value five. We can also pass in an expression. So we can pass in five plus five. And we do this, it's going to evaluate that expression and give us the result in the terminal. So you can see we get the value 10. Now the cool thing about print is that you can actually pass in a sequence of arguments. So we could pass in a string here and separate this data by commas and pass in another number in here and so forth. And each time we do this, it's going to output every single one to the console. So we get 10, hey, 10.3, and high. So that's pretty cool. So anytime we need to output data to the terminal, that is how you do it. You use the print function, separate all of the data by commas, and then it'll be nice and pretty out here on the terminal. Now you can actually pass in another argument that could be important for you, but this one's different because you have to say end equals and then some value. So for example, right now it's defaulting to ending with a new line, which is why this is down here on the next line. Instead, we could just end with a space. And in this situation, the result's gonna be a little bit different because you see now we get 10, hey, 10.3 high, and then just a space here, and then we get the default terminal output here. So it's basically overriding the default end, which would be a new line, which if you wanted to type that out, would be a backslash n and replacing it with something else. And this is going to be very important in this course because we're not always going to want to put a new line after our prints. So you should understand how this works right now. And you might be wondering why we have to put this end here. Well, if we didn't put that end here, let, let's just say we put this, well then print is just going to assume that is just another argument that we want to print to the console. 
So when we run, we just get a space here, which not exactly what we want. So in order to specify, hey, no, no, we're not doing another argument. We actually want to change the ending. That's why we have to say end and put an equals to assign it a value. So that is how that works. So that's your introduction to the print function and all of its basic capabilities. In the next video, we're going to be learning about interactive mode inside of Visual Studio. I totally forgot, so I had to go look. So that's what we're gonna be talking about next. So please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.